Hi Sagittarius, what's coming up? Okay, the King of Wands. This is you in your element, Sagittarius. Regardless if you're a male or a female, this is you coming into your power. Now, the King here shows a certain element of maturity and drive and motivation. So this indicates that you're definitely on the right track to manifesting anything that you've been wanting to manifest in your careers. Now, the King of Wands has a certain anxiousness. It's almost like he can't sit still. There's some sort of endeavor he's been meaning to work towards. And I feel like something is being kick-started in the month of December. Now, it could be coming into January, as especially in terms of your career. It's almost like you feel really refreshed. You feel really energized. You're feeling like you can really tackle anything that you start here. But it does speak about passion and desire and movement. So for some, there could be some sort of movement um, within the workplace, either to a different career, a different division. I think it's more internal, so it could be an elevation of some kind. You have come up as the king, so it is a more specialized um I guess energy here, it's, it's, a, it's higher energy, it's got more responsibility, the king. Um, so for some of you, there, there is some sort of elevation uh, that's coming up here. For some of you, there's something that's been half completed, Sagittarius, and you're yet to complete the other part of this. So for some, this may make sense, for others it may not. Uh, but it's almost like you're halfway there. So there's something you need to finish. There's a job out there or maybe a creative pursuit that you've actually started working on but you've actually stopped for some reason or another. So maybe you've been ill, maybe you've been busy with other things, maybe it's fallen to the background and it hasn't become priority, but there's something you need to pursue. Um, and suddenly I feel like over the next couple of months, or maybe this has happened in the recent past, it's almost like you've had a surge of energy and you're ready to get back on the horse again. So I think you've got a lot to look forward to with this King of Wands energy. Could also be a fellow fire sign around you that's actually motivating you or you're actually trying to emulate through their passions and desires um, and their drive. And it's good, you know, sometimes we need that motivation um, and sometimes people are able to uplift us in many amazing ways. And if this is what resonates with you, then so be it. Let's have a look and see what else is coming up for you, Sagittarius, in career. Beautiful, six of wands, victory, um, being known for something, achievement, being on your high horse, leadership, goals, conquest. So I love what this represents as a whole. The six of wands, strong energy here, Sagittarius. You're definitely in your element. You're definitely being noticed for your talents here. Six of Wands is all about prominence and being placed in the spotlight or being placed in a role or in an environment where you are actually being the leader. You are actually leading by example. You are the brand ambassador. You are driving the company. Whether this is on a, on a conscious level and you've been made a manager or whether this is on a subconscious level where people just admire you so much for your work ethic that they're actually trying to emulate you and your working ways and look that's completely fine I think you're very happy with yourself um, and uh, you know there's there's acknowledgement here so I feel like there's acknowledgement for those that have had a business or trying to get a business or trying to gain clientele or a following I see people following you here so this could be on the internet this could be on social media this could be because of travels or appearances but I think you're slowly accruing a following. So it, maybe it's taken time. But I feel like a lot of you are starting to stand out from the crowd. So for those that have been working for companies where you feel you're just another number and your work or your contribution doesn't really matter or it doesn't, it doesn't seem valued, a lot of you, you're coming to prominence here. So you're standing out from the crowd. You've got something different to offer here, Sagittarius. And your drive and energy these next couple of months is just, it's unrivaled, honestly. And people are definitely noticing this. You know, there could even be jealousy involved because of this wonderful King of Wands, Six of Wands movement around you. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> Let's see what else is coming in for you. <clears throat> okay, Nine of Wands. Some of you are scared of success. Um, are you scared to be in the spotlight? Are you scared to get too much attention? Are you guarded? Or you feel people don't have your best interest at heart? The Nine of Wands sees you quite on edge for some reason. So maybe there is a fellow fire sign around you that's giving you cause um, to feel this way or giving you cause for doubt. 
Um, and maybe you're trusting and you're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. That's just how you are. You're very honest, Sagittarius. But look, I feel there's something that's sitting um, internally with you, some sort of residual feelings here um, that's actually affecting you in your progression of career. Now, for some of you, it's almost like you don't feel qualified or you don't feel you're able to undertake this role or undertake this opportunity um, or Maybe you're a little bit afraid of gaining too much attention too quickly. Maybe it's for the right reasons. Maybe it's for the wrong reasons. But the Nine of Wands is quite a guarded energy here. And for some of you, I feel like you're protecting something. For some that have a business or an idea or some sort of creative, um, something you've thought of creatively maybe, I feel like you're sitting on a very good idea, Sagittarius, and maybe this is coming as a warning to be careful who you share it with. Or make sure you protect it legally. So copyright or patent or, um, you know, like patent law or, um, you know, sign yourself up to something where you're protected legally. So that could be for some of you, this, this could be a message here that there is a good idea that you have. Um, maybe it's developing an app. Maybe you're a software engineer and this is what you want to do. Maybe you're in beauty or design or the production and there's something that you have here but you're guarded about who to share it with because it could potentially be very, very successful. And people could definitely copy this idea for some of you. <clears throat> okay, the Six of Cups. This is beautiful energy here, Sagittarius. Some of you are working towards a childhood dream is what I'm seeing. And this is really sweet. It's sincere. It's sweet. It comes from a good place. Some of you are actually gaining work or entering into a career you've actually seen yourself doing as a child, or something you've been drawn to doing since you were a child. So I love that this has come up. I also feel for some of you, you're establishing really, really good relations with colleagues, co-workers, bosses, agents, superiors, employees, employers. So this is really special. I feel like the relationships are in the early stages, or maybe the contacts or network um, networking opportunities you have around you can prove very, very lucrative, um, but they're still in early stages as indicated by the infant children in these cards here. So something's still developing. You need to be able to nurture it and see it through to the end, Sagittarius, because it can earn you a lot of success. It could also be feelings with the Six of Cups. It could be feelings of romance as well coming into work that's coming into your reading. So a work romance that may be prominent for you with the Six of Cups. But most potently, I feel like you're learning a lot. I think you've got a lot of motivation and something that you're embarking on or something that you thought about doing is either A, going to come to you in these next couple of months and it's going to be in the early stages or B, you already have something in the works here, Sagittarius, that you're going to continue to grow. You're going to watch it blossom, so to speak. You can see the beautiful flowers in these cards. Um, it's just a card of harmony and blossoming and happiness and seeing wonderful progress in your career. So this is really nice. For some, you're going back to study because you want to move up in your career. Um, you're either studying a degree or a master's. Maybe you're getting a doctorate. Maybe you are embarking on an online workshop, an online course, a training seminar. Um, or maybe you're even self-teaching. But whatever it is, it's in its early stages and it can actually bring you to prominence here, Sagittarius. And you've got this wonderful fire and drive within you these next couple of months to really, really apply yourself. Because you've got this wonderful energy here. For some, it could even be working with children, teaching children, helping uh, children develop, maybe it's speech pathology, maybe it's becoming a pediatrician, maybe it's looking after children, maybe it's designing children's clothing, maybe it's opening up a toy store. Um, you know, it can be any number of things really, but this is quite a heavy prominence that's coming into play here. Um, and for those that have been like working mothers um, and have just been full-time mothers, you've been totally concentrating on, uh, on your children, I feel as though you're, some of you are getting back into the workforce here. And I think you're coming across some very wonderful opportunities. So don't doubt, don't hesitate of your ability here, Sagittarius. That's the worst thing you can do because you've got it within you and you need to own that confidence that you have because it can certainly take your places over the next couple of months. But look, I will leave it at that. I hope this reading has been insightful for you.